Hey, what's up? So I will show you how we can integrate Redux Dev Tool with our application. I think in the previous video I made a mistake. I was calling this a uh, reactive tool. Uh, that's another thing. But I will be working now on uh, Redux Dev Tool. Uh, it's very awesome library. I think we can can show it to you. So we can actually see the whole state inside our uh, Dev Tools, the Chrome Dev Tools, or even uh, Firefox. And we can actually debug it, look at it, see all the actions we have been dispatching. Uh, really awesome. So let's, go, let's now do it inside the context of our to-do list application. To make this work, you have to do two things. First thing is to install Redux Div Tool. I will put a link in the description for this. But you need to install it uh, in, your, in your browser Chrome or Firefox. And the second thing this can't actually read your store unless you expose it uh, you, unless you expose your store yeah and to expose our store we will use this library i will put it as well in the description so it's called redux dev tool extensions helper so you will install it like this so npm install redux dev tool slash uh, dash extension like this uh, i already did that now to expose our store let's go where we create it which is this file and let's import a function from redux div div tool extension and this is called compose with div tools and just after you pass or after you pass your reducers the compiled reducers to create store function just call this one here the return value will be passed to the create store so let's now run npm run start and that's it actually. Yeah. Let's wait. Okay. So this is now our app. If you click in the extensions, you will see that the Redux Dev Tool is here. You can actually click on it. You will see it here. And another way. I think if you go to the um, I think if you go to manage extension I think I think by default it's not something that you need to change I think by default it will be available as well here so go into inspect uh, alongside with the console one of these tabs would be redux yeah I don't think you need to actually do anything so you have two options either you click on it or just uh, open the inspect tool I think another one is you can do this so it's a different uh, like window in your browser maybe this would be better in our case I'm not sure I will put it here you know yeah I'll just inspect and go to it so by default let me minimize this so by default our state is empty these are our actions here so as you can see the first one called init uh, I, I already said this but our reducers will be called all our reducers will be called one time when the application starts and all of them will return or should return a default state like this in our case it's an empty array so let's try to test if this is actually true as you can see here, one of the options, if we go to state, you will see that our state is a to-dos, contains a to-dos key with an, uh, an array as a value. You can look at it as a chart. So this is a state, has this to-dos, or uh, it looks like this. So just a global object with a to-dos key points to an empty array. And this is what the init action will uh, do. And this is actually dispatched from Redux, from Redux itself. So let's now go and add any kind of thing. So feed any kind of to-do, feed the cat, create, you will see that we have another action called add to-do, and this is why I was talking about namespaces, as you can see, uh, like, you can just look at this and know that this is, has something to do with the to-do part of our state, because at the end, if you go to our state, we, we might have multiple keys, one called to do, one called posts, one called user. Each one of them will store a subset of our state. And looking at in, in a big application, and trust me, you will see so many uh, 
like actions that have been dispatched I'm pretty sure Reddit exposes the Redux for us we can actually yeah who cares I'll show you my Reddit yeah. uh, hopefully it's open uh, my internet connection is really slow okay uh, if you go to Reddit you'll see that there is we should see it but maybe yeah as you can see there are so many actions that have been dispatched just by opening redux just by opening Reddit. sorry uh, there are so many actions and without namespaces it's a, it's a little bit hard to know which one belongs to which part of our state namespaces like this makes it easier so imagine if some of them have like a prefix with a superior suffix with like but between brackets called users we should know that oh yeah this action is for the users this action for the post and uh, so on uh, i highly recommend that you go to read it i'll put a link in the description i'm pretty sure you know it but uh, we all know it all programmers know read it uh, so this is their state so each one has a single reducer yeah i think this is interesting yeah and uh, you can see there is a leaderboard it's reducer listing reducers everything here has a reducer function and this is a chart if you open it your browser will hang up because it's really big i once tried this so let's close it this is our state this is our action we have this one if you click on an action and go to the action tab here you will see this is the action object that have been dispatched this is the type this is the string we added here this is our to do object very nice and you can actually put at the diff this is one I like sometimes I want to do I uh, know what a specific action did to my state as you can see the green color tells us that there is something new have been added to your state sometimes it's red red means something have been deleted so when we reach that point when deletion of our to do's you will see that some of these will be red which means we deleted a task um, there is so many I mean this is like a whole subject you can't create a whole series about uh, div, the div tool this one uh, but I'm not that expert in this kind of stuff I usually use it just to debug and trace and another thing you have actually a timeline where you can start from the start and it will start dispatching action by action uh, you, there is, you have the speed here uh, I, I use this once something that I usually use is these keys let me show you let's create a couple of them uh, usually I want to check what will happen if a specific maybe I have some actions that need to be executed in like in a specific order and maybe in some cases this won't happen so what I usually do I will put skip here so this actually if you go to the last action and look now to our state you will see that we only have a three to do's this one have been skipped so I mean this is really nice you can actually do whatever you want uh, you can actually jump to a specific one and now if you click on this you'll see the state in this uh, to do but we skipped it so yeah you can see actually the state on the specific action so yeah in the third action we have only three to do second one so really nice uh, you can look at the chart I mean it's really awesome I'm not sure if someone uses this but uh, it's really awesome um, so yeah that's it that's about the div tool the basics how you can integrate it but there is so much to it I'll put a link in the description for this you should read about it but yeah this is actually just the basics so yeah thank you next video will display our to do's